Welcome to Dream Right Go. I am your host, DWG. Let's get it. Today, we're going to be taking a light dive into open source and what it means to fork a project. For this example, I'm going to be using Godot, which is an open source game engine, unlike Unity, which is a closed source game engine. Code base for Godot is freely accessible and free to anyone. When developing an open source program, there's a term called forking, which means to take a copy of the program's repository, or in simpler terms, the program's code base, which is the code that actually makes up the program itself. When it comes to open open source forking, the code base is not stealing, it's actually encouraged, and most of the time forking happens for good and happy reasons. For example, if you fork Godot game engine, you can fix certain bugs, develop plugins, or even add new features that the main Godot project doesn't have yet. You can also create a fork to develop your own version of Godot, taking it in a completely different direction, all for good and happy reasons. However, sometimes a fork happens for sad reasons, and recently this happened to Godot. Due to an unfortunate event, a group of users and developers decided to fork Godot and develop their own game engine and they call it Red Eye. A few users and developers decided to leave Red Eye and create their own fork of Godot and they named that one Blazium. Now check it out, these forks did happen because of a sad reason, but I think that overall for us end users, this is a big and cool thing. If you look at the bigger picture, the end users are gonna win no matter what. Now this is my take on the Red Eye strategy. Currently they are staying very close to the code base of Godot and keeping it compatible. I think that their mindset is to remain compatible long enough for current Godot users who want to migrate to Red Eye can do so without breaking their current game projects. This approach will likely continue for a season or two. After that, I expect through cherry picking and original feature creation that Red Eye will rely less on Godot and truly develop its own identity. Now, cherry picking is a process of selecting different commits from one branching, adding it to another, or selecting features such as bug fixes and advancements from one branch and applying it to another. This is useful when a particular fix or feature from Redeye to be applied to Godot without merging into the whole entire branch. However, that depends on if Godot wants those features from Redeye and vice versa. But then here comes Blazium. Now, Blazium is taking a completely different approach, it seems. While Redeye is being criticized for being almost an exact copy of Godot, but just in a different color, Blazium seems to be working towards divergence from Godot on a grander scale. I speculate that they they will one day release a game engine with actual new features from the start. Of course, I could be completely wrong about this. However, due to the criticisms that Redot is receiving, I think that Blazium plans on taking a completely different approach with this brand new game engine with a lot of new features or some new features from Jump Street. Now, no matter what, there's always gonna be natural diversions. Over time, forks like Redot and Blazium can develop their own identity due to unique changes and features through natural divergence which happens when developers introduce new ideas, features, fixes that are specific to their version of the project. But despite any type of efforts, divergence is inevitable, leading to Red Dot and Blazium having their own distinct features and fixes that are independent of any other branch. Now, overall, I hope that Godot, Red Dot, and Blazium can all play nice together, learn from each other, and grow in their own separate ways, benefiting from everybody's mindset. However, that's a situation that they're gonna have to work out on their own. But as far as us, the end users, these are three different game engines going in three different directions, which means we get to benefit from all of that knowledge, all of these features, all of these different mindsets, and going in all these different directions gives us more opportunities and more chances to create wonderful and great things. This is Dream Right Go. I am DWG, and I'm out of here. Peace. Go, go.